Bamiyan province is recognized all over Afghanistan for its outstanding natural beauty. But until 2001, it was also famous for a man-made wonder. The Bamiyan Buddhas, two statues built in the 5th century by Buddhist monks, could be seen from miles away and attracted visitors from all over the world. Buddha is a sabit, in March 2001, the Taliban government destroyed both the statues, the tallest standing at 64 meters, calling them false idols. Centuries of Bamiyan's historical heritage was destroyed, and combined with the Taliban's persecution of the dominant Hazara ethnic group in Bamiyan, it's become a symbol of the Taliban's intolerance and brutal repression. The history of uh, Bamiyan uh, has been destroyed and uh, also uh, damaged the, 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 uh, the identity of Bamiyan people. I said that tank was very bad, but as the tank was hard, 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 the tank was hard. But in the end, the tank was hard, the tank was hard, the tank was hard, the tank was hard, the tank since 2003, UNESCO and other organizations have been recovering fragments of the destroyed Buddhas and preserving this heritage site. This week, to mark the 10th anniversary of the destruction, it will be decided whether to preserve the site as it is or reconstruct the statues with the fragments that remain. For some, it's important that the world never forgets the dark days of the Taliban regime in Pamian. Uh, I want to see, uh, first of all, uh, that the, uh, how the Taliban and the fundamentalism, uh, fundamentalists are brutal. So uh, their idea is so extremist. Uh, so uh, always they are um, uh, applying the extremism or want to expand extremism around the, around the world. But the appeal of renewed tourism in Bamiyan is clear in the minds of local people, who want their province's economy to develop and see no problem with the rebuilding of these symbols of Buddhism in an Islamic country. <laughs> ی به معنای از این است که ما در یک کشور مسلمان زندگی میکنیم و وجود بوت ها باعث ازی شوند که مردم به طرف بوت گرایش داره نه. But since the destruction, the sites faced problems. People still live in the historic caves once inhabited by Buddhist monks. Much of the famous frescoes in these caves have either been stolen or eroded by weather, and there's a lack of money to secure the area and compensate farmers who used to grow food on this land. The potential of this site for enhancing Bamiyan's economy and giving the local people back a sense of their identity and heritage is obvious. But with Afghanistan's many needs, the fate of what was once one of the wonders of the world is still unclear. This is Ruth Owen in Bamiyan for the NATO Channel.